Welcome to another video, I am Gold Raven, beside me is my cousin, Tougher, you can check out his channel in the description below, this is my real voice, ok I am just tricking. Hey guys, welcome to another video, this one is the ultimate class guide. Now what I mean by that is I mean this will go into details of every class currently available. Since one of the recent updates the classes have been readjusted and they will go through another readjustment later on. But for now I thought I would show just how to handle the classes in their current state. Items play a really big role depending on what style you play. Now for me I attack frequently and hard. So I prefer having a higher attack, higher crit, and higher haste because those are what I use more. I'm not so concerned about my health or my armor and evasion because that's what I have health potions for. So before I get into the classes I'll just show you the setup I'm running. I've got the Necro Hen Hat, the Scale Slayer set minus the boots, the Drake Hunter Flame Cloak, the Crimson Staff of the Abyss, and the Furnace Knight Boots. The reason why I'm running this instead of the Slayer Greaves is because it provides more haste. I'll start with the first class which is Warrior. So the first thing you want to know about Warrior is that it is the best class for taking out multiple enemies. And before you even enter a battle, hit that war cry. Once you get in the battle, spin should be your first thing, and then you could Vorpal Strike while you wait, and then spin again. Continue this pattern between the two of them, and the monsters will be finished in no time. When taking on big guys, especially if you plan on soloing them, again you start with the War Cry, get in close, and then use Rending Cut. This weakens him, so he's not going to hit you as hard. And then shift between Vorpal Strike and Whirlwind. The second War Cry is available, give yourself another dose. Because you want to keep yourself boosted. This only provides 10%, but it makes a difference. If you feel he's hitting you too hard again, you could always use Rending Cut. Vorpal Strike also dazes them, and currently Vorpal Strike is the strongest attack that the Warrior has. But that's not to say that the Whirlwind can't hit hard as well. Depending on where your health is, if your health is really low, you're going to be hitting even harder. On to the next class, Mage. Now Mage was nerfed extremely badly. Certain things have been adjusted on it, so it just makes it a little bit different than what it was before. Now this class can still take on multiple enemies, but I wouldn't recommend taking on multiple enemies unless they're a lower level than you. But Mage is good at taking mobs out from a distance, so the first thing you're going to want to hit them with is the Lightning Strike because they can't run. It only lasts a few seconds, but while that's going on, you can Fire Blast them and keep doing that until they're dead. If you're taking on big guys, it's the same approach. Use Lightning to daze him. Build up your Fireball. If you find you're getting too hard, use your Mana Shield. Hit this when it's available, and then continue using your Fireball and your Lightning when it's available. Fireball used to hit hard, now it hits extremely weak, but you can balance between any one of these to drop the mob. Again, if you feel you're getting hit too hard, run a mana shield. You have plenty of mana to do stuff with because your mana barely drops now. And with the right setup, you're able to take on just about anything. Now like I said before, it can take on multiple enemies, but it's not recommended unless they're sufficiently weaker than you are. But if you do run into a tight spot, again, Mana Shield plays a big role. And the Fireball, even though it's been weakened, still helps because it damages them over time as well. It only lasts a few seconds after your initial attack, but it still helps. 
Next on the list is Rogue. This is my all-time favorite class. Ever since my first class video, I just fell in love with this class. I had never really used it before and I regret that. Now this does not have a multi-attack so you cannot take on more than one at a time. However, it's still a very good class. Since the update, this class acts somewhat similar to Warrior in the sense that before a battle with Warrior, you use Warcry. Well, since the update, now you can use Stealth at any time. This basically increases your critical hit and your dodge. So your evasion and your crit is higher upon using this. So before you even enter the battle, just like Warrior, you use Stealth. And then you poison. Now this stacks four times, but what I do is I hit it three times, then I use Spin Kick, I boost this one more time, and then I use Scorpion Tail Strike. And then you can finish him off however you want. And I find Rogue is definitely the best at taking on bosses. Rogue or Guardian, but I find Rogue a lot more fun to use. There's a little bit more strategy with using the Rogue. So Stealth immediately, Poison Strike three times, hit that Spin Kick, Poison one more time, and then Tail Strike. And you can continue this until the boss is dead. The minute your stealth is out, you can just recharge it once again. You can also rush right into situations where you've got multiple targets. They will affect you, but with Rogue having a higher crit and a higher dodge, you can most likely take on two opponents without too much problems. So use stealth constantly when you're running rogue, just like using Warcry with a warrior. If you're farming with a group against a boss, have at least one of your guys running warrior because he could Warcry the group. And if one of you guys are running rogue, then you could use the spin kick to weaken the defenses of the boss. Hence, it would be more of a group effort at taking down the boss. Next class, and the easiest class to use actually, is Guardian. Now, there isn't a lot of strategy involved with Guardian, but it's still a fun class to use. The animations look pretty cool. Now, Guardian is good at taking down bosses as well. And the way to use him is you get in nice and close and you hit him with a Guardian Strike. Now this stacks up to three and at this point you can use Dragon's Breath, stack it one more time, and you could use Healing Strike. You've got the choice between Dragon's Breath and Healing Strike, but Dragon's Breath and healing strike are more effective the more guardian strikes you have. Now the healing strike doesn't heal that much but it's nice to have that option. Now the main thing is when you're taking on especially bosses you're going to want to use guardian's oath. Now this draws the attention towards you but it also weakens the monsters. Now guardian can take on multiple enemies but you would be running the healing strike quite a bit so it's more of a single opponent. The nice thing is Guardian does hit really hard but the only downside is even with my haste being so high it takes a while for the cooldown time. I guess it's not such a bad thing but that's why I like Rogue so much. When you have Guardian's Oath available, similar to Warcry or the Stealth, just use it frequently. All in all, if you're looking for a powerful class that can hit hard, Guardian is a pretty good choice for that. And due to the whole healing ability, it's a pretty good soloing boss class. So that's it for this video guys, I hope it helps some of you guys out there. 
If you'd like to check out my Twitter, the link will be in the description below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.